Hello, welcome to Bay Media. In this video, we're going to be creating a free water drop logo design using the Pixel App application. And without no further ado, let's get right into the video. And before that, B Media, also known as Bright Media, is all about bringing you free digital skill tutorials. So if you're curious about the digital world, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification so you get updated on every tutorials we put out on YouTube. And you can also follow us on Instagram at official B Media. So let's get right into the video. Um, let's get rid of this. Um, this, this, this 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 so we're going to be creating this logo using the pixel app application so you know it looks like you know water dropping into a kind of some holo stuff so um let's create this logo using the pixel app application and also using the bezel tool so if you haven't watched any video on the bezel tool yet how to use it you know how to get started so um there'll be a link in the description so you click on the link and it will take you to the video so you watch the videos on Bezel 2 and also um, there are other videos on the channel like poster design, logo design so feel free to check that and we're going to be using this color palette so you can download the color palette from the description so there's a link to our drive where you can download this color palette so let's get right into it let's make this invisible so um, let's plot a circle so come to shape, pull out the circle, check for circle, then put it out. And then I, I want to change the color because the background is actually white. So I want to choose a color that is different from white. And um, let me um, activate the grid lines and I want to edit that. Come to this, then um, I want to make it 53. That's much do, but let's just use it 53 because you know it gives us more grid, you know, more lines to work with. So I want to activate the grid line then make it bigger make it bigger make sure it's actually at the center okay yeah that's it so um let's deactivate the grid lines and uh, let's then make sure it is actually at the middle so let's use the relative positioning so we click on these two icons to make sure it's at the middle then mark copy and also make sure it is at the middle then I want to change the color of this one I copied I want to change the color to any any color but just different from the one below it from the circle below it and I want to lock these two circles then I want to start from the first circle I want to go to the masking tool of course, the masking tool is actually similar to the Bezel tool because you know you get to use the features of the Bezel tool in masking. So let's um, enable that. I uh, want to shift this up a bit. Shift this up. Shift this up. Let me make sure this is here. And also this is also here. I want to bring this here. Right there. Make sure it's actually it has this coverture. Then um bring this right down. here bring it down a bit then try to position it and make sure it's actually making sure it's perfectly aligned so it doesn't look like um so it looks exactly like a circle or it has this curvature 
without no such um, sharp edges so we are trying to um, make sure it doesn't have a sharp edge uh, let's check that yeah I think we okay with that make sure it's still locked yeah it's still locked so let's go down to the second circle down so you click to activate it then come to masking again click on it where's masking yeah here's it so click on it enable it then take this up take this up bring this right here make sure this is here the sense of curvature to make sure it's perfectly curved yeah and that's it so let's click on that then um we want to create um the the water drop using the bezel tool so i've clicked on the bezel tool then i want to come to edit points you know click on this this is edit point then also i also want to connect these two points using this icon here in, in the actions then um i want to bring this to the top and this down bring this here here And make sure it has this you know this shape yeah then go back to um, stroke take it down to zero then fill it in with a color then come to color then go down to gradient then click on this plus to choose the color that we want okay so let's um let's choose a color here so let's come to choose color and i want to pick a color from my palette so i want to pick this first then come to this one and also pick this perfect and um i want to make sure that this is here and this is here so let's check um let's check what that looks like yeah perfect so let's activate there and make sure it's actually at the middle take it down a bit perfect then um go to the first circle which is above then go to colors gradient choose the same color or the same color gradient and go down to the second circle choose choose um the same color gradient but you need to um change some settings because you know there is no you know partition or something showing that it's actually hollow so um let's edit a bit so um i want to create this sense of depth so um i come to this point here i want this point to be down here a bit then this up then i want to create i want to click on this then click on the plus icon then shift this up a bit so we see how that looks like yeah let's click on this and create more and actually let's let's get rid of this click on it then click on minus let's see how that looks like perfect so let's keep on make uh, let's make sure it's actually looking or having a hole in it perfect perfect so um we don't we don't then you click to add the two um the three shapes and perfect you have your water free water drop logo design perfect so 
guys see you in the next video and before that um feel free to check out on um, the channel to see other tutorials on you know logo designs poster designs and um see you guys in the next video